Hello, this is Frank from FNL Superstore. Today we're going to show everybody how to update their pads from Zenithink, the most popular ones, which is the C91, the C71, and also the Z102. They're pretty much the same when it comes to updating them, so we're just going to use the Z102, show you how to get into recovery mode of all three, and then do a base demo on the Z102. As you can see, I've already been to download. Uh, ZT280 is going to be where you're going to find all your firmwares and then here's the ZT pad Z102 available downloads and the very first download is going to be your ice cream sandwich um, it just came out 314-2012 um, and it, if you want a ROM that runs Netflix you would download the 2.3 version which is actually the second version down um, and then a local would be United States Europe and then remote would be I guess over in Asia and in other places locals very fast for the United States so what you need to do is figure out which one you want click your local go to save as save it somewhere on your computer try to remember where you save it it's very important then you go to that directory as you see I have a whole directory of Z102 ROMs and you can see it's a .rar file what you need is you need something to open that RAR file. So if you don't have WinRAR, you could Google WinRAR and three down, you'll see WinRAR Archiver. Uh, download that and install it. It it it, it does give you a, a free trial, uh, or you could just go to RARLab.com, R-A-R-L-A-B.com, install that. Uh, you see, I have two windows open here. I have one window open for my SD card, and I have another window open for where I have the file store but I'm gonna have another window open right here which is gonna carry my archive this is the way I like to do it because I wanna get this ZT, uh, ZT uh, dash update directory in the base directory in my SD card and the best way to do that is to go into this directory right here that they've created at Zenithank and then you can see these subdirectories drag and drop ZT update over to the card I have a slow card in there so I'm gonna have to edit this part out Okay, now we're going to put the kernel and recovery files that the tablet needs, depending on what model these you have. Like I said, I'm working with a 3M model. If you have an older Z102, you probably have a 2N. So here's the 3M. You go into that directory right there, and you take these three files or four files. This text file is not necessary, and then you drag and drop them also in, into the directory right here. And as you can see, we have. Um, right now we have nine items in here but you really only need eight you just need these eight right here media command data media system system zt280 kernel zt280 recovery and then the text file is just a reminder of what version that you uh, are installing into your tablet let's say you have the 2n version you accidentally went into 3m just go ahead and just copy these and just write over it it, it really makes no difference. Once you get all those files onto a micro, your micro SD, you want to grab your micro SD out of your computer. You want to insert it into your trusty tablet, into the micro SD slot. I probably shouldn't have to tell people that, but whatever. You want to put your hook your tablet up to the charger, and on the Z102, you want to hold the back button. The back button is right here on the front. On the C71, you want to hold the minus button. On the C91, you want to hold the camera button, and while holding any of those buttons, you just turn the power on. You're going to see the pad down there. It says back key press, prepare, enter MMC update mode, image updated, system updating start. If you have a wrong kernel and recovery installed, it will tell you, um, and then you just have to go and copy the corresponding files. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm hoping that people understand basic file structure in Windows and can manage to copy and put files in the correct place because this is very important. It doesn't matter if you're updating, you know, a Zenithing tablet, any tablet that has an update feature by micro SD, you're going to want to make sure that your files are in the correct directory. As you can see there, the pad just took over from there. It's now pretty much updated. It's going to boot for the first time. When it boots for the first time, it takes a while because it has to re-rate the cache. But that's how you update your tablet, your Zenithink tablets. Um, I just wanted to show people how to do it so they would not be afraid to tackle this themselves. Uh, and you really 
can't mess anything up if you do it correctly make sure your tablet's plugged in and make sure that you have the files in the correct uh, directory if you have any questions post them below if you like my movies or videos you can subscribe to my channel like us on Facebook and Twitter and all of that information is down below in our info box and all that stuff down there